hello everyone welcome back to my channel prince automation destination so in our last lecture of uh, git series we discussed about git stash which is widely asked interview question in case you are not already aware on what is git stash and how to use it i would request you to please take a look on my previous video which will help you gain some understanding on uses of git stash so today we are going to talk about git merge conflict while dealing with git stash we have covered one more video in merge conflict in the previous lectures in case you are interested in looking at those at that video i mean i would be sharing the link of same in the i icon so let us understand the scenario so for example there are two users those who are working towards one feature let us say feature slash dashboard okay now for example i'm just typing in git status let us say this is user one and he has made change some changes as out user one changes right now if i'll type in git status i don't have the working clean working tree right because i have made changes meanwhile user two is also working and he also for example made the changes at the same place so as i um, uh, don't want to make it complex i'm simply going to let us say user 2 is going to this particular remote repo so he will go to this particular branch so we are on the same branch now here what we are doing we are going to this feature slash dashboard and we are will be navigating to the same location src test java then step devs dashboard step dev because now we want to edit so to edit it we can simply replace blob with edit right so for example now let us say user 2 also has made this changes right let me make it simple so i'm simply replacing it with user 2 so in real time he would be doing it from the local machine and he would be adding the change then committing the change and then pushing but in this case i'm directly committing right meaning pushing directly so when we'll do it in the remote branch it is like a commit right so i'm just uh, clicking on commit so whatever the message that you want to provide this is a provided here so i'm going simply going to use git commit right now as a best practice when we will deal with the uh, git real time so we are supposed to take a pull regularly right before pushing our changes so i'll simply use git pull so when i'll use git pull i'll see some error that uh, uh, your local changes uh, to the file would be overwritten please commit your changes or stash them before you are merge meaning when we try pulling the uh, like remote changes we should have a clean working tree but in our case as we have made the changes we are unable to pull the latest changes so what we can do we can either commit them please commit your changes or stash them so commit is already covered as part of previous merge conflict video i believe so today we are going to talk about git stash so as soon as i'll type in git stash this particular change will be moved to the stash area so let us understand the same so as soon as we typed in here so we see that that change got disappear now if i'll type in git status i see that i have now clean working tree along with this i'm getting one message that this local branch is behind one commit from the remote right so how to get the latest changes so we can use the git pull so when we'll use git pull so we will get the latest changes right so when we'll get the latest changes um, we got the remote changes but we have the local changes where user one was working now for example user one want his changes to be retrieved so for that purpose what he will do he will use git stash apply command so as soon as he will type in git stash apply you see that we got this git is now trying to auto merge the files right but it got conflict right so how to resolve that conflict so right now it is giving here so as soon as we will click here we will see that it will start showing some error right and if we will expand it go here and all the all the packages where the error is for example in this case it is the, the error is here so it will start highlighting so this particular file has error right so one way is by going into each file and removing the uh, undesired changes we can resolve the conflict other way is simply right click on this and uh, go to git for example and you will see resolve conflict so as soon as you will click here you will get one thing which changes you want to keep let us say we want 
user one changes to be there so after discussion with the uh, the user one and user two they will reach on conclusion that user one changes are the latest changes and while user two changes are the old changes so we can keep user one changes while we can discard user two changes so as soon as i will do it we need to click on apply so as soon as we click on apply the changes will be resolved now we will type in git status we will get the changes are there and we will use simple those commands to add the changes to the staging then git commit hyphen m to add the changes user one changes and then we will be using git push so when we'll use git push and let us go to the remote repository so we'll see that user one changes will appear here right instead of user 2 so this is how we can resolve the conflict uh, so this is uh, what I wanted to cover as part of uh, git uh, merge conflict resolution while dealing with the git stash thank you for watching in case uh, of any queries please feel free to reach out to me uh, via YouTube comments uh, thank you once again please uh, like share and subscribe my video thank you